distant future as we move past the Keem Super Wild Card Weekend, past the divisional oh, wow. round as well. Through the conference championship round, we know it's the Bays, Green, 1, Tampa, 2 is the top two seeds. So which NFC team is the pick to win the conference title and get to the Super Bowl? We'll start with you, Will. So, uh, you know, we didn't I, I love having the odds up here because it doesn't you know, it helps to say, look, this is not only an aggressive pick, a, a, you know, a, a, a pick that requires waivers, but a pick that also provides value 12 to one to win the NFC for the 49ers. I love it. I understand that this look the Packers, Bucks, Rams and Cowboys are all really good teams at the top of that conference. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if any of them came out of there. I do think in the 49ers, though, you have a coach in Kyle Shanahan who has been to the Super Bowl. You have a quarterback in Jimmy Garoppolo who has been to the Super Bowl. Um, this is a team that is, you know, playing with a little bit of house money in the sense that they're not people they're sort of flying under the radar people aren't looking at them as one of the top teams in the conference everything has to click right for them they have to get the right path but they beat the Cowboys, then they go to the Packers. And I understand Green Bay is very good. David Bakhtiari expected back. Uh, they, they're pretty healthy in that regard. But Kyle Shanahan has a really good record against his former assistants. And we've seen them uh, dominate the Packers in the NFC Championship game before. And it's very possible that they come out of that game and then get to play the Rams, at which point in time that's another his former assistant who they've beaten up on this year. So I like the 49ers not only to do it just, just outright, but the value there is very good to me at 12-1. to 1. I will take San Francisco to stay hot and make it to the Super Bowl second time in the last what, four or five years, three years. Great value for sure. But Kyle Shanahan Super Bowl loss. Jimmy Garoppolo Super Bowl loss. I'm going with my guy Aaron Rodgers, the most vindictive person on planet Earth who will hold a grudge against anyone, your grandma, my grandma, people's grandmothers he doesn't even know, and he will use that as fuel and motivation to beat your brains out. And we've seen that week in and week out. And look, don't forget, back in the summer, we were like, okay, is this guy even going to play football anymore? Not only did he play football, he played at such a high level, he is going to be the MVP uh, again in back-to-back -back years. So I'm going with Aaron Rodgers. I also picked the Packers to win the Super Bowl uh, back in, in August. I'm spoiling my pick in a few, few minutes here. But I'm going to stick with it. Going to ride this thing all the way through. There are very few uh, concerns. The defense has been average. But, again, there are no great defenses this year. Bridget just noted a lot of guys are coming back. Bakhtiari is coming back. Smith is coming back. Jerry Alexander has a possibility to come back. So they will be a better football team than they've been over the last month. And over the last month, they've been the best football team uh, on the planet. So plus 170 isn't as good a value as the 49ers, obviously. But I think there's a much better possibility that uh, the Packers do, in fact, get all the way to the Super Bowl. All right, now to your pick. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.